Hey guys, so today I'm doing a what's in my school bag and um, I'm going to include some like organizational tips for school and hopefully they will help you get through your school year. So oh, first thing I'm going to start off with is my book bag and this is the North Face Jester book bag. Um, the name is right there, yeah. It's just like this pinky purple color book bag and yeah, it's spacious and like everyone has them in my school and yeah it's it's actually kind of annoying like because it rolls off my back like because it doesn't have any like grippy things on the back things but whatever um yeah so let's just get into it first i'm going to start off with is my books sorry if there's a lot of noise like going around like everywhere a lot of things are going on right now in my house but um first we're start off with the binders so this is my binder for the first three periods I have during school. I have a really early lunch, so I have lunch third period, which is like at 10 o'clock in the morning. So that really sucks. But um, here's the classes I have up until lunch. So first, let's start off with the binder. It's this really cute blue and gray binder. And I can like label the classes here that I have. But I have like three classes in here, so I'm not gonna like label them all. And I can remember. And the reasoning for like, the tags like still being on here or stickers or whatever I just got these so it's kind of like a haul you know like a back to school haul I don't know um yeah so I just got these binders so they if they look all new and they don't have any notes inside of them so yeah um so I have loose leaf so this would be like one subject and then I have loose leaf and then I have a divider which says the subject on it so right here it says music it's just this nice divider so I'm not like confused as to where the subjects are yeah and then it has a bunch of more a bunch of more loose leaf yeah and then a folder so for notes and then any loose papers that I need to like take home or just any test I keep in the folder then we have another class in here which is health and this has a bunch of loose leaf as well and a folder and my folder is adorable hold on it's a Tinkerbell folder. I love Tinkerbell, so. And as for organizational tips for, like, a big binder like this with several classes in it, I would color coat my classes. Like, for instance, if I had English right here, I would use two color pens, like, um, orange and blue. You would make the title, like, blue, and then you would, like, make your notes orange. So then, if you're looking, like, for what to study if you have a test coming up you look at your title in the blue color and then of course I'm looking at like a blank piece of paper right now but then you have your notes in orange and I did this all last year and this is a new binder of course so I don't have it like for example but yeah it just really helps you get along through the year and helps with studying okay next is just a regular binder and I thought this was super cute yeah and then I think all these binders are from either Target or Staples. And so this is another binder. I think this is just, yeah, this is my all English binder. Because we always take a lot of notes because we read a lot of books during English. And so yeah, it's really pretty. And this is one inch and the other, the green, I mean, the blue and gray one was one and a half inches, if you're wondering. Okay, so I just had like the, my first day of school like two days ago, so I really have like no papers in here. But for what I do have, I have my class syllabus in here. It's what we're going to do throughout the year and everything. It has the grading policy, has any like rules on here and blah, blah, blah. What the teacher writes up, basically. And then it goes over our objectives, what we're going to do this year. And I think this is great as a teacher to type out for us. Because then we know like what to study because we know what we have to learn. If that makes any sense. And then this is awesome. This is like an outline of... Everything that's due, it has due dates on here, it has homework on here, it has like everything for the entire school year. Of course, there's going to be more when the other quarter comes out. This is just for the first quarter. And then I have a bunch of loose sleeve for notes. And then another Tinkerbell folder, which holds my composition book. Because composition books don't have like the rings in them. Um, so I just have like a folder to put it in, which this is like the cutest thing ever. I mean... This periwinkle color is my favorite color ever, so, like, I'm in love with it. I really, like, want to put a stress on this, like, for another organizational tip. These, 
dividers help so much like they just you can have your notes you took in class and then you can have a divider and then your homework so then you put all your homework in there and then you can have a divider and you put all of your tests and quizzes so when you go back if you have an exam or I don't know it's just my school does exams I think other schools do it as well but um you can study all of your tests and quizzes and then like you can have another divider and have like all graded things you know so it just really helps with the study process and getting your grades up Okay, next thing I'm going to move on to are my notebooks. This notebook isn't the cutest, but it's kind of cute in its own way. You can definitely tell that it's recycled. And uh, it has this really cool thing about it. This is like a folder, like the back. And then the front is also a folder. And you can tell that it's like helping the earth. I don't know. It's like recyclable because it doesn't have as many spiral things as like a normal notebook one. And I would compare it to one, but I don't have like a normal notebook on me. But then... The pages in here are totally cool so they have like the months up here and you circle it and then you circle your date so instead of like writing it out you can just like circle it which like it no it's not like really time consuming but like if your teachers like write this out and you're like trying to write it down and then like it takes up time to write the date I don't know I always like to make the date like super pretty so I think that maybe this will help me like not make it pretty and I can just like be done with it Hopefully that will help because I never get notes done in class. Um, let's see, another organizational tip. In math class, my math teacher, she always like put the notes on her computer screen but then like projected them on like another thing. And then she would start doing examples on the side of the board. Um, for a tip, I would ask or maybe just check if your teacher does type her notes up like prior to... Uh, the day that you're going to write notes because then you can print them out the day before and then have them in front of you and as she's going over examples you can just like write down the examples instead of writing down the notes and the examples you know maybe it's just my school that does that but I found it really helpful if I printed out the notes a day before and then went over the stuff so the next notebook is this really cool one um it's very pretty and it's not like normal like it doesn't have the spirals on the side it actually has it on the top so you like open it like this I feel like this will be great for math notes because like math you have like examples and examples and definitions and everything whereas like um, history you would just have like definitions blah 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 but like with math you have a bunch of like examples and everything so like it's hard to like keep flipping through pages you know well it's not really but um you could write down your examples and everything and then you still have this page to keep writing so like I don't know. I think this would really help. Like, so you know, like, oh, well, this is all together instead of, like, flipping through it the other way. It's like, oh, okay, where does this stop? Where does it stop? I don't know. I just found it a new, like, innovative way to take notes. That was pretty cool. Next thing is a cute little notebook. I mean, how can I not love this? It, it's the colors of my room, as you can tell. This light blue and this brown. And it's just really light. I'm afraid it might fall apart during the year, but that's okay because... It was just super cute, and it just looks like a notebook, but it's not, like, spiraled. Um, I can do this for, like, any notes that my teachers want me to write down very quickly. I can do this. I mean, I can use this for any notes that my teachers want me to write down really quickly, or um, notes I want to, like, pass to my friends, like, what's going on, blah, 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 like, things that I can write to them, like, what time is the assembly. So, yeah, I, this isn't, like, for school. I mean, it's for school, but it's just for, like, my own personal use, you know? Okay, next thing that I have in my bag um, are just my reading books that I did over the summer. Um, so yeah, I just carry those around because I'm going to be talking about them in my English class, so why not carry them around? Next thing is loose sleeve. This is just like regular loose sleeve, but it's not in a binder. I don't know why. It was just laying right there, so yeah. And then I also have graph paper, which graph paper is... Let me get it. So, graph paper is really easy to take notes in, like, especially for math. It helps me with just keeping things organized and everything. So, I know, like, most people have to have graph paper, but if not, I would buy it just so you have it. Like, and it helps with biology, like, labs and, like, science labs and everything. So, that's really helpful. Um, next is my pencil case. This one is from Staples. And what I carry in my pencil case is just basically pens, pencils, 
Um, I have some Sharpies. Highlighters are so important. You can take notes with these. You can highlight stuff. You can highlight important stuff. Write down your homework and make like your notes pretty and fun. So yeah, those are super important. And definitely get like different colors because yeah. I have a protractor in here. Um, some hand sanitizer because that's important. And then pens and pencils and I think a few Sharpies. Yeah. And then I have this bracelet in here that are my school colors um, that my friend made for me that she left school. And then I have this little like compact mirror in here. It's not like the best mirror, but it's like super thin and not noticeable. So if like you want to like look like at what you're looking at, what you're looking like, and you're like, oh my god, do I have like food in my teeth from lunch or anything? Like you can just pull that out and you just want to make sure you have like something really thin because I mean I go to a school with girls so it's not like like I go to school with only girls so I'm I don't really care what like the girls think about me. So yeah. Um if that made any sense whatsoever. Um I also have a separate pencil case that I carry around. It's just like a pencil pouch, not like as big as this. And here it is. I don't have anything in it right now, but it actually holds <laughs> Whoops. all of these Sharpies. I even have more. Whoops. I have, okay, they're going to keep falling. I have more. And yeah, I just am like, and yeah, I am just like a Sharpie fanatic. I don't know. Most of them are my sisters, but like she lets me use them and they're just so pretty. Like I can write notes with these and ah they look so good and yeah okay next thing is a planner if your school doesn't like supply you with one I'm gonna block my school name out um see there's my school you can kind of see it yeah it's like a castle um if your school doesn't supply you with one then I would definitely purchase one I know they like sell them in like office places and this one comes from a calendar that has all of our school events on it which is very nice to have um it also has like areas to put your homework so here i would put my homework i definitely color code like for different classes you should color code for like organizational wise then you'll get it done you'll cross it out and it'll be easier and um so yeah that's just like i've only had one day of school so far so i don't have like any homework but usually we have a lot of homework and this one, I just love this book. I mean, it keeps going, blah, blah, blah. And at the back, it has, like, study skills and, like, test skills. It just has a lot of nice things in here. Like, it has things that you need to know for different classes and the presidents and just everything you can think of. So my school is lucky enough to give me that. And, yeah, I have, like, a little thing, like, to show me where it is. And that's also another tip. Um, like, if your notebook... Like when you're writing in your notebook and you can't find your page, you should always mark your page with like a sticky note or just like bend your page over or anything that will work for you. So then you can just flip over to it, write your notes, and be ahead of the class. So yeah, that's always really nice to like have your notes ready to go. And um, the last like school supplies like thing, whatever, is my iPad. And yes, my school does give this to us. It's awesome. Um, we have to use them for class, so just like anyone bringing in computers for school. And remember, I go to a private school, so I don't go to a public school, so I'm not sure if like public schools do this. But um, yeah, here is my iPad, and it has a bunch of stuff. There's this one app on here called A Note, and it has all my. I wrote, I like entered all of my classes in here, and like I can click on it. Let's see, I can click on. Um, well, let's just do lunch. I wrote down two notes, like, for the days that I want lunch. So, for lunch, like, we, I just wrote down what we would have. So, this is, like, rice with artichokes and then a basil, mozzarella, and prosciutto panini, which sounds delicious. So, I really want that. So, I write that down and, yeah. So, then I'll go to another one. And I'm not, like, sponsored or anything by this app. I just really liked it. Um, so, then I have, like, studies. I don't know if other schools have studies but like they're like free periods I don't know um I write down which days I have the study and then I write down like with the teacher like who's my teacher I don't know it's really helpful and it helps me stay organized and there's a bunch of other apps on here that will like totally help you stay organized and you can also like purchase these on your iPad I mean iPod because everyone has an iPod and um like your computer even 
just this is super helpful just like writing your notes online and everything makes it like crisp and clear you know not online but like on a device if I'm making any sense okay anyways back to my book bag what I keep in my book bag of course other than my books um in this French pouch in this front pouch here I keep my eyeglass case I'll show you them they are DKNY and these are <laughs> this crazy blue color it looks like I have them on right now um I searched for like a year for these because I wanted like a, a really standout color and yeah I really like them they still help I don't wear them all the time but yeah um I also keep two perfumes on hand because sometimes the locker room can just like smell horrible just because like other people from gym like ew. um <clears throat> the first one is Victoria's Secret pear glaze I don't even know how that's said this smells wonderful and fresh and I just love it and this one is amber romance which I'm not such a fan of but like if I'm just coming from gym like I rather like smell good than smell bad next thing is my pink calculator it's the TI 84 and yeah it's just like a calculator that we need for school but it's pink so it's really cool um I also carry like a whiteout the whiteboard like pen um a moisturizer with SPF just like a little tiny one and then I have like two pens in here and then I have like other stuff and I have my keys and then my wallet which I always carry my hand in case like I'm going out somewhere or um, I need something from the vending machines or something and then I have my ID and everything and then um, just one more thing I wanted to mention Oh, I can't remember. Oh, right. And you can carry your makeup bag in there. I honestly don't carry makeup bag to school. I don't carry any makeup to school other than these two lip balms, which are the EOS. This is the lemon one, and this is the... I forget which one this one is. Um, but they both smell wonderful, and I have a bunch more. I just didn't put them in yet. Um, yeah, I don't carry makeup to school. I mean, you should always have deodorant in your locker to smell good after gym and um just maybe mascara is one thing that i would carry to school but i don't because i go to an all-girls school so it's not like i really have to try in school or anything um next thing are these headphones and they're just jvc i think it's the brand these really pretty like seafoam headphones and then my hands always get like super like dry during school so i carry a lotion around and this is airy botanicals coconut and vanilla bean lotion and then I have this little, oh, that's the lotions from American Eagle. Um, I have this little, like, pouch thing that I carry stuff around in. Like, I carry my tampons in here, and, like, you always need that for school, like, just in case. And if your friends need some and everything. And then I have a mirror in here, which is super cute. I know I carry a mirror in my um, pencil case, but it's not the best because it's kind of, like, cheap and my school gave it to me because... It's just really thin and everything, so it's not going to be the best mirror. So I have this, like, magnifying one and then a regular one. And it's super cute. Yeah, I got this from a boutique um, local to me, and it was super cute, so I had to get it. And then, um, this is an important thing to me. I keep eye drops in my bag because I get super tired in school, and I feel like it's, like, because my eyes are drying out. Well, it's really because I got in sleep the night before. But um, my eyes get, like, super dry, and... Like, I don't know. So, if I put this in, like, I feel like I'm awake. Like, I'm more, like, energized. Like, I'm more awake. It just really helps. And I feel like it would really help you guys because I, like, just discovered it. And I can't believe I just discovered it because I should have last year and I could have stayed awake through classes. And, yeah, this really does help. And then I also have a bunch of bobby pins and hair ties in here because those are very important in case you need them. And I have a headband in there as well to read some organizational tips that I wrote down for you guys. Okay. So for studying, you should always have your, when you're like studying, you have to find like a kind of quiet spot. I like to study with the TV on, to be honest. So I just like move everything off my bed, like, and then I just have like everything near me, like my pens, my pencils, highlighters, like everything. And then um, I go through my papers and I skim like what I think I need to know, what the teacher really, like, I don't know, really made like punctual like that she like wanted us to go over you know 
and you should always study when you're most alert so maybe you should study before you do your homework because after you do your homework you're just like I'm done like I don't want to do this like it makes sense so I would study before and as for like getting yourself to start to study maybe you could like I don't know like you have because I always put it off I'm like oh yeah I'm going to study and then I'll be like oh yeah do it in the morning and I'll be like oh it's the test and like I can't study so like you just have to like start like I, I guess it's like the biggest thing like you just have to start studying get your friends to study with you I mean it's kind of fun you can talk about like other stuff you did and it will help you with your test and like come up with little tricks like you can like come up with um I forget what those things are called they're called like things that um like you'll have a word like cat you can remember like oh well Christopher and Adam and Tom all did blah 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 in history so I don't know that was like oh an acronym yeah um but yeah that was totally random but yeah I think that's all and I hope you guys enjoyed my like what's in my bag it's kind of like a what's in my purse what's in my school bag and I hope I helped you with some organizational tips and some just like study tips and everything like that and have a great school year bye guys love Kel XO